Hi, I'm Mike from Three Big Friends. Welcome to our almost weekly update on the haunted fairground. We're building a large haunted fairground now. It's um, started off with a big top, but um, we're progressing now. We've passed Philly Brick Fest. We're going to progress to a larger scale fairground, full fairground, with Ferris wheel and carousels and various things like that. So, in this update, I'm going to show you a couple of really exciting things. One, I have pretty much built the hanging chair carousel. I don't know the technical word for it. If anyone knows a technical word for it, if there's a name for it, put it in the comments, but I always call it a hanging chair carousel. So I built that. That's pretty much 99% done. Very happy with it. Obviously, when you see it, you'll notice that it's above ground quite a lot, which will get filled in. I've also got a brand new figure to show you, which I've had printed up by Brick Sanity, which is awesome and will be part of a giveaway in June. And there's a couple of other things to show you as well. So let's get on with the first section, which is the hanging chair carousel. Okay, I'm not going to show you the full plan. I have a plan, a picture, a diagram that I've laid out showing all the boards, how they interact with each other and the things that go on each board, all the items that go in the fairground, like the carousels and the ghost train, various stalls. I've got all that, but I don't really want to show you that because that will spoil all the excitement of what's coming in the fairground. So week by week I'm going to show you each thing that I build and Chloe and Holly help me with. So this first thing we've done, which I really wanted to do when I came back from Philly Brick Fest, I really wanted to do some sort of carousel first. So Chloe and I have worked on this hanging chair carousel. It's really, really, I think, perfect. It spins at exactly the right speed, although you can't see any of the detail when it's spinning. Um, it looks really great and that's kind of what is real about it. The real ones that spin, they spin too fast that you can't see the people anyway really. So it's not spinning too fast, just spinning perfectly. So let me show you some pictures of it and then we'll get it spinning. Okay, so here it is. As you can see, we've put a couple of people in it. There's a couple of skeletons in it and there's a couple of spare seats. The clearance from the ground, that's not the ground actually, that's, that's the board that people will step on to step up. The ground will be a couple of plates, maybe a brick lower than that. It's raised at the moment so I can hide all the workings beneath it, but you won't see any of that when it's in the fairground. So yeah, so the, the chairs are just clearing that. When it turns, they spin out a little bit and clear a bit better, but it's kind of realistic for people being able to step up into the chair. There are no actual lights on this at the moment. I filled it with blue, which is an aqua blue, and red studs to give the effect of lights. I've also covered it in netting and chains and put a bit of detail on it to make it a bit more haunted. I have no intention to light it up necessarily. It's not the easiest thing to light up, especially if you've got to carry battery packs and all that kind of stuff on the moving parts. So I don't intend to do that particularly. Some of the nice features in here, there's a lot of Technic stuff holding it together. The way the chains are hanging on is quite nice, I like that. But the circular board at the bottom, it's not quite a perfect Lego connection. I'm forcing it slightly to make that curve using hinge pieces, but really pleased with how it's come out with those pieces. So let's turn it on. There you go. See what I mean? It just hangs out perfectly. What you don't want it to do is go too fast and then they spin all over the place. You don't want it to go too slow because that's not what the ride's about. The ride's real wide. It's supposed to be going fast and the chains mean you spin out a little bit. Okay, I hope you like that. I'm really pleased with it. It's just one of many rides that we're going to create over the next four months. While we're doing those rides, we're going to do little additions as well. Here's one of them. This is a little cart with an old guy in it who's been trapped for a long time to the cage. There's a couple of dead skeletons in there. It's based off an Ninjago set, a little extra in a Ninjago set, but I've sort of embellished it a little bit, simplified it and then increased it a bit, if you know what I mean. So I'll show you some close-up photos of that quickly. Yeah, as you can see, there's an there's a old guy in there. He's obviously been there a long time, but his beard and hair have grown. His previous friends don't seem to be alive anymore. But there's a nice little cage over the top to stop him getting out. This is just going to be at the back of the haunted fairground, a little feature. Okay, so that's the prisoner cart. I 
Okay, I have been working on other ideas. As I said at the beginning, I've been planning it all out perfectly. I'm making bullet points on each ride as I'm going. Little features of what I can do to make it more like a haunted fairground, more run by zombies and skeletons and all that kind of stuff. I'll come to those as I come to those as I build. I will tell you more about those. But just to finish off this video this week, I want to show you a custom fig that I've had printed up, which is this little guy. He's Zombie Mike, basically. It's my sig fig, but with a custom printed zombie top. I'll get some pictures up on the screen for you now. I posted it on Instagram earlier today. I went to Ed at Brick Sanity, the printing company, and said, can you do me a torso? I had the legs and the head and the hat and all that kind of stuff already. And he did an awesome job of reproducing the Team GB tactical tennis player torso with rips in it, with cuts, with a couple of bullet holes. And just awesome job. Really, really pleased with it. It doesn't photo that well when you get close up to these things, but the detail is beautiful. Now I have a handful of these. I'm going to be giving them away over the next few months. Not all of them, just three of them. I'm going to be, or maybe four. I'm going to be giving them away over the next four or five months um, to people who enter my competitions for the LEGO Haunted Fairground. The first competition, which will be the big competition, will be coming in June, throughout the whole of June. It's a building challenge. I'm not going to tell you any more about it now, but I will tell you about it in a couple of weeks in June. After that, there'll be a little one video challenge, which is just about a specific TV show that I enjoy, which has got influences in the Haunted Fairground. That will also have a prize of one of these zombies and a little Lego set. And then there will also be a competition which we run just before Swindon Show and throughout Swindon Show and a couple of weeks after Swindon Show so the guys at Swindon Show who come and see the Lego Haunted Fairground for real can join in as well. So that will also have a Lego prize plus you'll get one of these zombie Mike figures. So again, big thank you to Ed for printing that and doing it so quickly. It was awesome. I wasn't expecting it to get it for this update. Okay, and that's it for this update. Next week we will progress. Hopefully I will have moved forward on a couple of more things. For the rest of May I'm working on stalls. I've got a couple of stalls uh, um, throwing... I don't know what you call it. I'm calling it dead fish um, stall, which basically is fish in a fish bowl where you throw the ball in and, it, and you win the dead fish. It's that kind of thing, you know, I'm sort of round hexagonal stall. Also, I'm going to do a coconut shy stall, which Chloe and I have been talking about a lot. Not a hard thing to do, it's just a standard rectangular stall with coconut shies in it and some skulls around it and stuff like that. We've done it before for a Lego City contest that was on YouTube, so it'll be about replicating that but in a more haunted fairground style. So that's probably coming next week and then after that we'll go back to building another big element of the fairground. So thanks very much for watching, please do subscribe to our channel. There's a lot of stuff going to happen in the next few months and I really want you to see it. Even if you're that, that bothered about the zombies and the skeletons and all that kind of stuff, just the idea of building fairground equipment is exciting. So keep with us, please do keep with us. And thank you very much for watching this video. See ya, bye.